Hi guys, Nick here from Intuitive Tennis. Today I want to show you how to hit a flat serve. Let's start off with the grip on the flat serve. So the grip is going to be a continental grip uh, with our base knuckle on bevel number two. However, one of the greatest servers of all time, Boris Becker, had a slight forehand grip on his first serve. Somewhere between um, the eastern forehand grip and the uh, continental forehand grip, somewhere on this, on this edge. Uh, this is how Becker would hold the racket. He would then switch over to a continental grip on the second serve, but he felt that he could get more power uh, with a slight forehand grip. Another player that did it the same way was Patrick Rafter, and it's currently a top 100 player named Peter Govojcik, who also has a slight forehand grip. So if you happen to be slightly over towards the forehand side, uh, this is not a deal breaker for the flat serve. The flat serve is going to be the first serve a beginner will learn. Uh, as a beginner, you don't have to worry about kick serves or slice serves, or even as an intermediate player, you might not necessarily have to worry about those serves because you have to develop all the technical and fundamental elements of the serve first, and that's going to be the easiest to do in a flat serve. A flat serve is very simple uh, to perform. What you have to worry about is uh, the swing path of the racket. So from the trophy position, uh, we're going to try to drop the racket down, and come up to the ball and then we're going to simply continue with the racket towards the target and then once we reach this point and we can swing across the body this way and to accommodate this swing path and we're going to turn the upper body towards the target as well so it looks something like this from the trophy position straight up and then towards the target like that this is a very simple uh, flat serve that a beginner can perform on the advanced level, uh, we already learned all the fundamentals and we have a good solid uh, technical foundation of the serve. And now we have to really worry about the toss. And the toss should be anywhere between uh, 12 o'clock or even slightly over to 1 o'clock. Uh, what I don't want to see on a flat serve is a toss that goes uh, too far to the left to 11 o'clock uh, for right-handers. And because it's going to put our body in a very awkward position, uh, because we have this rotation here, we're going to have to reach over to the left and, and I'll lose balance even doing it uh, like this. So to keep our balance, we must throw the ball uh, between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. The upper body rotation is the most important technical aspect of the flat serve. Uh, we must always try to accommodate our swing path and not try to inhibit it. Uh, so I'm going to show you first uh, the upper body rotation on a very slow serve like this so i rotate my upper body to accommodate uh, this swing path which is going uh, down and towards the destination of the ball if i don't rotate and i try to hit the same swing path uh, look what's going to happen it looks like my body is fighting my arm and i don't accommodate the swing path and i'm overusing my arm therefore and i feel a lot of strain in my shoulder and so two be able to have a nice, easy, effortless swing path. We have to rotate the right shoulder uh, towards the target on the flat serve. There are two ways to perform the flat serve. One way would be uh, to swing down and have the forearm go below the level of the elbow like this. Uh, Pete Sampras was famous for doing this and Ivo Kalovic is another player who says this, this type of action. And uh, what this uh, serve allows you to do there's a lot more downforce being uh, generated and also the ball uh, will actually produce uh, more spin as it goes to the other side. So let me try one of these. I'm basically going to uh, bend my forearm down after contact. And that is a, a pretty powerful feeling as you snap down onto the ball and you generate a lot of power this way. Another way to perform the flat serve would be to keep the arm uh, somewhat more straight uh, as we go towards the target. And there's not so much bending going on and it's more of a straight arm action and then the bend starts uh, somewhere around here. So let me try one of these. Like that. Both of these flat serve techniques are great. The Pete Samper style uh, with the forearm going down and the elbow staying up will give you a little different trajectory. The ball will go a little bit shorter in, in the box, which is actually great if you have good placement. Uh, you can get aces much easier this way. However, there could be a tendency for net errors. And if that's the case, then you can keep 
uh, the arm maybe a little bit more straight uh, after contact and you get a little bit of a longer uh, trajectory and you can reduce some of those net errors. Uh, you can have a hybrid sir where you go just maybe slightly down after contact like this and this could work very well. Andy Murray is a player who has uh, this type of contact with a slight bending of the arm and then a finish here. Does the flat serve have spin? Uh, yes, it does. But it's not the type of spin that you're thinking of uh, where the ball will kick to the side after it bounces. And uh, the ball will rather spin uh, this way. And we have to remember that most players will hit the ball on its way down. So they'll make contact when the ball is dropping. So now when we make contact in a downward fashion uh, after the ball has dropped a little bit, this ball will spin. So I'm going to hit a ball towards the camera and you take a look in slow motion if you can see the ball uh, spinning in the air. So you can see there that even though I hit the ball uh, flat, I hit it down, my shoulders were rotated and uh, my, my arm went uh, down after contact and uh, the ball uh, still had some spin on it. And the king of hitting down on serves is Pete Sampras. And he had uh, a lot of rotation even on his first serves. So this can help you uh, generate a little bit more height as the ball bounces on the other side. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment in the section below. I will be happy to respond. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.